uh, hey guys, what's up? And um, I am. Uh, I don't. I don't even know if this video is going to be uploaded or not. But basically, from now till forever, I will tell you all the things that had happened to me and the people around me at school every month. It's a monthly thing. So this is September 2017 and I am currently in the fourth year of uh, high school or grade 10. So I am, so there's basically, there's five classes in every grade. So I'm in grade 10 and it's four, so I am in 4A. And uh, there's five classes, A, B, A, B, C, D, E. And um, everyone's everywhere. So a lot of the people I knew went to C, went to B, went to D or E. And uh, a lot of people I don't know came into 4A. But that doesn't mean I'm completely alone in the new class. Uh, there are people that I know in 4A together with me. So uh, that's also pretty much good news since uh, there's a lot of strangers in 4A that I'm not too familiar with. That, that comes from 3E last year. Mm-hmm. So, despite not being that significant or influential of a person, uh, despite not being the center of attention, which is actually a good thing, um, school life is okay, I can still hang on to it. There's a lot of homework and exams and tests and quizzes. Uh, it's, it's such a rush, you know. Before, when I was in grade uh, 9, it there's only 5 homeworks a day, 5, 6, maybe even less, 4, 3, even. Um, but now, we have so many homework that we need to do them um, in the morning, we need to do them in the recess, we need to do them in lunchtime, after school, and even at home. Of course, it makes sense as homework. You do it at home. And um, there's also a lot of quizzes, a lot of tests. Uh, so much that I think there's like about six, seven tests each week. Uh, not really tests, small tests, so it's quizzes. But tests also exist. Tests are more like... Uh, four times a year again like like on grade nine uh, school life is very normal really average it almost feels like nothing is happening besides of teachers teaching and being cool you know um the teachers are pretty bad when I'm when I was in grade seven and eight but um the teachers are okay, actually, in grade 10. I mean, they're not uh, that bad. I mean, there's a couple of strict teachers, but um, they're all friendly. So, yeah. Um, I guess the only uh, problem that me and my classmates encountered is one of our classmates just... Um, it's kind of ridiculous, honestly, but... Um, uh, she, she randomly had an amnesia during class, and then she came, she came back to the classroom, like, she was not in the classroom when she had that amnesia, and then suddenly, boom, she came back, and she forgot all the people, like, why am I here, why am I at school, how, uh, how old am I, who is this dude, you know, and she forgot all the people, and, um, yeah, she had an amnesia. That's, that's really crazy and weird. Like, um, I really don't know. It's like the movie Memento, kind of. Yeah. Amnesia sucks. And her boyfriend is just very, very sad and 
yeah, I hope her brain recovers. I really do. However, I'm not supposed to tell you people about the, this incident too much since um, it's pretty much classified. I won't tell names, of course, but I'm just gonna say that someone had an amnesia and uh, it's pretty bad. And everyone's like, okay, the amnesia is probably triggered by some uh, depression or stress. And uh, of course, uh, that person, that amnesia person, had a history of overdosage. But yeah, she overdosed on some medications and um, it just damaged her hippotamus and frontal cortex and now she had and then she had a retrograde amnesia so that's it for my uninteresting school life it's actually still a little bit interesting not as interesting as my school life in grade 7 or 8 but um still that's what's been happening